Yo, what up? We got a factor x squared minus 1. It's going to be x plus 1 times x minus 1. How did I get that? I used the a squared minus b squared formula, which is a plus b times a minus b. Well, if a squared is equal x squared, you take the square root of each, and you find out that a can be x. If b squared is equal 1, you take the square root of each, and you can find out that b can be 1. So you just plug in. Wherever you see an a, you put an x. Wherever you see b, you put a 1. So x plus 1, x minus 1. All right, that shit was pretty tight, right? Well, now we got to factor the bottom. The bottom is in the form of x squared plus a plus bx plus ab, because you can find two numbers a and b that multiply together to give you 2 and add together to give you 3. Those numbers are 2 and 1. All right, so now we got x plus 2, x plus 1 on the bottom, x plus 1 times x minus 1 on the bottom. Well, the x plus 1s cancel out. And then you're just left with x minus 1 over x plus 2. But that only works when x is not equal to negative 1. If x was equal to negative 1, you would get 0 over 0 when you tried canceling it. And 0 over 0 is undefined. So that's not going to cancel. So technically, you would want to write as long as x is not equal to negative 1. But you'll probably get full credit for writing x minus 1 over x plus 2.